Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thank you for checking in. Hope everyone out there is feeling, doing all right. Well, a little bit of a change up, I mean... Honestly, not really, um, but it is nice to kind of take a little bit of a break from chicken sandwiches or burgers or the occasional pizza. And uh, Taco Bell has a new release. What I've always noticed when I do these reviews in terms of, you know, you have some establishments that regularly pump out new items. Taco Bell is one of those places. They're always coming out with something new. You know, I always, I always like to think of them kind of as, as old reliable, you know. You could always count on a new release from Taco Bell, usually, and uh, this is no exception. Taco Bell is, uh, they're really making waves with this one. I mean, they really are. If you want to talk about an item that is groundbreaking, this is it right here. I don't really know if it is, but that sounds good anyway. And you wouldn't believe, I think the reaction when I first heard of this, which was last night, I think my reaction if anything, is an understatement to how most people are feeling about this. They just released the ad campaign, so I found out about this by seeing a commercial. Last night, I was feasting on some boneless wings, and I was enjoying the succulent boneless wings, and I had the television on in the background. A Taco Bell ad came on. I dropped the boneless wings. One of them fell to the ground, the other somehow acquired a means of propulsion and flew through the air for a while, and that's where the phrase flying fish actually comes from, because every single object in the room, myself, the boneless wings, and even all of the inanimate objects, were in an absolute state of shock. Taco Bell released the Cantina Crispy Melt Taco. It comes with a fried white corn shell. Can you believe that? I think that's what really did it. It comes with melted nacho cheese sauce, a three cheese blend as well, shredded cheddar cheese on top of that, seasoned beef, sour cream, lettuce, and tomato. The cheesiness. That's how, that's what people are supposed to say, I guess, when they see that. Obviously, the big appeal for this one, though, is supposed to be, all right, instead of your regular, you know, just hard shell taco or a uh, soft tortilla, this comes with the uh, fried white corn shell, which I don't think Taco Bell has at least, at the very least, had those um, in recent times. At least, as I recall, this is one of the first times I've really been promoting this. So I thought that's an interesting touch. Uh, so that's supposed to be one of the appeals. And likewise, this is an item for all the cheese lovers out there. Uh, cheese aficionados, as one may informally say, or those uh, interested perhaps in some cheap eats. The price for this taco, as is uh, standard with Taco Bell, fairly affordable, $2.19 for the taco itself. But that's what it is. Again, it's just supposed to be cheesy, supposed to have a little bit of a crisp to it as well. And then everything will be balanced out with some beef, some lettuce, tomato, and the uh, sour cream as well. Again, at the price of $2.19, the Cantina Crispy Melt Taco. Let's see how it is. I got the taco itself, so it comes in the crispy wrapping as well. You can kind of hear... Definitely got a little bit of crisp going on there. Let's open it up and see what we have. Ooh, even come, look at this. This is a collector's item right here. Look at that. What does it even say? Chessy? Guess that's like a new meme or something. And crispy. And there it is right there. All right, now, if I pull it out, this is like when the groundhog comes out of its lair on Groundhog Day. 
it's seeing the world right now. Uh, you can see though the difference in the uh, in the shell compared to how it normally is. As a matter of fact, this might make for an interesting thumbnail. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna do something with this right now. Um, I'll try this, and um, like I said, we'll just figure it out. But you can you can get a um, it might be interesting too. I don't know. Um, but you could see, there's those tomatoes, very vibrant, I must say. Again, there's the white, the white corn tortilla, if I'm not mistaken, the white corn shell. There we go. I want to get the terminology right. Um, but again, you can see some of the beef in there. I don't see too much of the, uh, the melted cheese. I mean, I see some cheese action, but certainly not a ton. Looks a little different than what the picture portrays. Um, but you know, you can't judge a book by its cover, so we'll see. And uh, with that, I think we got a good enough view of it. I mean, you know what's on it, I know what's on it, we all know what's on it. So let's try it out. The uh, Cantina Crispy Melt Taco from Taco Bell. Let's see what it tastes like and if it's good or not. It's going in. So, this is an interesting one. I think, personally, one's enjoyment of this item... Here's what I'll say. It's going to come down to your personal preferences in terms of... Well, how, how do you like your tacos, right? How do you like... How do you like it? I think some people are really going to like this and may even enjoy this particular element, whereas others, eh, maybe not so much. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tell you what I got and probably what you'll be in for, and then make up your own mind and go from there. All right. We've outlined that this item has a good list of ingredients, right? It has the cheese blend, it has the three cheeses, the shredded cheese, the nacho cheese. It has, of course, the shell. It has the beef, has the sour cream, lettuce, tomato. One thing that, again, it will irk some people, and it may please others, is this item is extremely layered. As a matter of fact, probably one of the most layered items I've ever seen from Taco Bell in terms of how each layer is distinct in and of itself, akin to kind of the, you know, the various bands of, of the different atmospheric gases on, on Jupiter, for instance. You know, you see the different bands of clouds, etc., and, um, boy, that's, that's a comparison I never thought I'd be making. Um, but there you have it. You can see at the bottom, for instance, that's the cheese right there. See, that's that blend of the cheese that they were talking about. All right? Then you can see right above that is the beef. Then you have the sour cream layer. Then you have the lettuce layer, the shredded cheese layer, and then the tomato layer at the top. And everything is blended together. Or I shouldn't say, everything is, that's actually what I wasn't going to say. Everything is independent of itself. So what does that mean exactly? Well, here's what I'm getting at. 
depending on how you decide to tackle this and how you decide to eat it, there may be inst <clears throat> there may be instances where you um, bite in, and you know if you if you take perhaps a smaller bite, you may just wind up getting a little bit of a mouthful of cheese. In other cases, you might just kind of get a combination of some of the cheese and the beef, or some of the beef and the sour cream, or some of the lettuce and tomato, etc. You'd really have to stuff the whole thing in your mouth, or just go ahead and mix it up yourself uh, to try to get an adequate combination of everything. But again, some people might find that a little bit iffy, and they'd be like, I kind of want to taste everything at once, though. For some, that's not going to be a problem at all, and um, it's not going to be an issue. And uh, for others, again, it might be a good thing. I just needed to outline that just so you know what you're in for um, in case you do get this. A lot of the time I've noticed with Taco Bell, a lot of stuff actually just blends together. This is one of the instances where it, it doesn't necessarily. But that's not to say that it doesn't work and that it doesn't necessarily taste good. This is one of those items that I think if you like your cheese and um, you like cheesy tacos or burritos, etc., just cheese in general, I think you'll be a fan of this one, because um, there is cheese to some capacity in every single bite. You could really taste the nacho cheese, of course. That's most prevalent. It's what spreads around the most. And um, again, if you get a little bit of that in your bite, you'll still be able to really taste that. And I would say that is the prevailing flavor um, of this taco. Of course, at the very top, though, you do have the shredded cheddar cheese. Surprisingly enough, you know, a little bit of that still does go a long way, and there is a bit of that as well. Um, so it's a very cheesy taco. I mean, you're going to notice that in every single bite, like I said. I believe regardless of where you happen to take that bite, you will be getting that cheese. Um, credit where credit is due, the tomatoes are fresh. I would say that they're, they're quite moist, actually. They provide um, just a nice freshness to the taco, so I'll, I'll give them that. Same thing actually with the lettuce. The lettuce is a little uh, more on the crisp side than I would have anticipated it because there have been many instances where I've gone to Taco Bell and they have had um, lettuce that's just a little soggy and kind of stringy and it's just, you know, maybe not the freshest in the world, but in this case, nice, uh, fresh, crisp lettuce and the tomatoes likewise, which is a good thing to see. I'm always, I'm always a fan of that. Um, the sour cream layer does work. It does work. I think one... And ta see, this is the thing. This is one of those things... Taco Bell knows this. There's no reason for, for me to even really outline this, because I already know it. Um, Taco Bell sometimes falls into this trap where sometimes everything could just blend in too much together, and you just get the saltiness of the, uh, the seasoned beef, and it just mixes in with the cheese and, and all of that, and it just kind of becomes this kind of, you know, not necessarily bad, um, but just this kind of mix on the blander side of flavors, or at the very least, it's the same stuff. So the sour cream kind of cuts into that and um, livens, is that even a word? Livens it up a little bit, you know, makes it more lively and exciting, perhaps. And uh, otherwise, of course, the big star of the dish, the, uh, the tortilla, or the shell, more or less, you could really, you could really smell it. I mean, that's the interesting thing, actually, the, um, the scent that it gives off. It's just like, you know, your corn tortilla chips, really. That's what it smells like, and honestly, that's the most comparable uh, taste. Now I know one can kind of get particular, and they could say, yeah, but it's the, it's the um, white corn shell, etc. But really, it's just no different, it's just akin to that of a corn um, tortilla chip. That, that's, that's just what it tastes like, quite frankly. And um, it's not bad, though. It works, ties everything together. And in terms of taco shells, it's actually a bit more on the uh, the flavorful side. A lot of the time, the shell is just kind of that neglected thing. It's like, eh, the shell, you know, it just holds it together, and that's, that's it. Big deal. Um, in this instance, though, it, it actually is more flavorful than I would have imagined. In the end, though, it's really not that bad. Um, you could see that even though it's got all the sauces and everything, it's not messy to eat. So I would say that this is something that you could get and uh, consume in the car if you're on lunch break or something, and, and you wouldn't have to worry about any disastrous results, plus it comes in the little taco holder. But in the end, the ingredients are fresh. Um, like I said, I wish maybe that they would have blended together a little bit better, but honestly, I think that may just be a specific issue to me. 
everything works though. Everything is actually balanced out better than I thought that it would be. And um, what took me by surprise pleasantly was the shell, more flavorful than I thought it would be. So uh, that, was, that was nice to see. And it's available for the price of $2.19. Real quick, I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot sauce on it. And uh, then we'll call it a day. The spice works. The spice indeed works. And uh, one of those things that definitely, if you want to spice it up a little bit, certainly going to pose no detraction to take that into account. But all in all, standard Taco Bell. But honestly, it's not that bad. I've had much worse. Like I said, everything blends together. It might not be something that I'm absolutely raving about, but at the same time, it doesn't taste bad either. So taking everything into account, I'm going to be rating the Taco Bell Cantina Crispy Melt Taco. I'm going to give it a 7.7 .7 out of 10, because again, I really can't find too many complaints. Yeah, you could find some basic things in terms of the preparation, but in the end, the ingredients are fine, it works, and it tastes uh, good for what it is. And it's at a decent price, too. Happy about the uh, flavor of the shell as well, which is really the namesake of the item. So, um, what am I even talking about? I don't think that is the namesake, but it's scratch that. But either way, I'm happy with it, so that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching today's review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Until next time.